to see you. So, you know, being that close from home is pretty good. Uh, All-American in lacrosse. Uh, star defensive back. When I first met you, it was at the Under Armour All-American lacrosse game. Uh, you going to continue doing both? Um, you know, we just kind of focus on football. But, um, you know, wherever the future takes me, you know, two sports is very hard. You know, yeah. it could have seemed like I was making it look easy, but there's a lot of ins and outs that um, people didn't see. A lot of sacrifices, a lot of in, like bad and good days. But um, for, for the future of playing the two sport, we'll see how it goes after the season. What did you learn about playing football by going back and playing lacrosse this year? Um, that the mental, I say the mental preparation is big and key. Um, you know, because you know, lacrosse, going from lacrosse, like it's a big mental game. Um, and just being able to hone it up and pull that to the football side because there's a lot of skill out there on the field football wise. But the, what, where you separate yourself is your mental. So your toughness, how you know the playbook, your instincts, trusting yourself, confidence, all that carries over from the sport. Yeah. Well, before we turn it over to Dave, you were the most, uh, one of the most exciting people in that outlet's past from the goalie to watch you sprint down there. I think you scared a lot of people on that lacrosse field. Dave Preston. Oh, gosh, yeah. No, my expectations for this year, especially after the strides that you guys as a unit have made this year. Um, as a defensive unit itself, so I just, we just need to find another identity because I said earlier, like, every year is a different defense, different team, different talent. You can't necessarily, you know, look back as like, man, we lost this and that. You got to look forward. You have to be where your feet are. We got the guys in the room. We got enough talent. Now it's like, okay, fine. Who these guys are and play to that. So it's understanding our players, um, communicating more, and just being one connected defense. Um, and then for the DB room, in terms of we got some young guys, we got some guys that transfer like Jaquan Shepard. We got Corey Coley's coming up in a big role. We have a breakout year. Um, you know, just getting those guys comfortable. I and mean, we got a pretty experienced uh, safety room. So just getting everybody comfortable is going to be the best. Brian Williams enters his second season as official defensive coordinator, even though he's been with the program since. Uh, Day one, basically. Yeah. What what impresses you with what he's been able to do with the unit? What do you like it, yeah, as a teacher, as a student? Just um, as a as a man, you respect him to the hundred most percent, and that's what a great quality. I, a lot of people favor in a defensive coordinator. Are you, who are you as a man? Who is as a coach outside of the football? He cares about each and every one of his players. We give him the confidence, and we back him up. Any decision he makes, we back him up. You, the times he getting in our face and yelling, we know it's not coming from a bad spot because he puts his guys before. He gonna line up whatever guys he got and gonna give them the utmost confidence. So he balances being a player coach and an X's and O coach great to the point where we go out there and make strides. Like when he comes in and have time and you know getting us back, he's a reason why we come out there and do what we gotta do most of the time. What, and where do you guys 